Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a sneaker battle with one of my homies from Michigan. So I went ahead and created some topics to relate to the sneakers. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. That's crazy. Well, thanks for coming on to the show, bro. You know, we got the sneaker battle. It's about, it's about time, man. So... Uh, let's start with what's your, what's your favorite pair of Jordans? My favorite pair of Jordans? All right, so my favorite pair of Jordans, you know Shiny, right? So, middle school, which it actually turns out me and you were going to the same middle school. I didn't know that. I didn't know you when we went to Parkside. Shiny walked in into the gym, walked around the corner, and I saw these shoes. It was like the first Jordan I fell in love with. Let me see. Playoff 12. This is my second pair of these. I buy a pair out, buy these, I'll beat them down, and I'll just buy another pair. This is the most beautiful Air Jordan that you can get when it comes to me. This is just like, it's designed after the rising sun. The Japan flag is designed after a woman's shoe. It's just, this. it gets no better than this right here for me. <laughs> you just can't go wrong with that This pair. right here is, it's solidified. This is my favorite <laughs> Jordan right here. This is so fire. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick mine real quick. My favorite Jordan, uh, not this colorway, but my favorite Jordan in general, like through the, like, the numbers gonna be the Air Jordan 4. Just everything about the Air Jordan 4 just hits for me. Like the tongue, tension grabber right there. And then, uh, I don't know, this colorway is fire, but my favorite would be the Bread 4s. So you know what, uh, 4s, 4s is like one of those things with me, like it, as, as bad as it sounds, when I started seeing fubus and things, it really ruined 4s for me. Like it, for really, really? it really ruined the look of a 4 for me. And I was really looking forward to the black cats and the breads before they dropped. And when they finally dropped two hundred dollars, I was like, "Ah, them fubus! It's just, it, it looked funny to me." And it, it, I, yeah, or, yeah, it's some tough. fours I just can't get with. And I don't know, but I do really like those. those are All right, let's uh, let's go with the most worn sneaker. The most worn. Okay, so let, let me let me see them beaters. <laughs> now, if you really want to see the beaters, I got a bunch of beaters downstairs. Then there's like the shoe. Let me go grab it. There's a shoe that I really, really, like honestly, if we're talking about of all the shoes that I have in my collection, which one I wear the most? It's the Nike Epic Riyadh. I got this for like 40 or $50. I think everybody needs to go get a pair of these. It's the most comfortable shoe in the world. But of my nicer sneakers, like, like my nice shoes, which ones do I wear the most? Ugh. I'll even show you the dirt that all over them. Look at that. The phone closet? I wear these all the time. People think that it's so hard to get an outfit off with these. You can't even see because the light's so shut. The light's so bright. And that, it's a really bright shoe. I have never seen anybody else with them really, but I love that shoe right there. I wear that shoe all the time. What, what do you wear with it? I feel like that is a hard shoe to match with. All black, gray, uh, red. Red doesn't look bad with them. All right, my most worn sneaker, I just showed you already, but. Bro, I got the Ultra Boost, I think 3.0s. I got these back in 2017, I think. And this shoe is just amazing, bro. It's just super comfortable. Like, it's a beater. Like, I didn't even intend for it to be a beater. It just became a beater because I wore it. I still really want a pair of Ultra Boosts. Like, I've still been looking for it. And I just seen you just dropped the video. You got them for 149. Yeah. I, was, I, I had to think about it for a second. I ended up, ended up copying these Triple White 2.0s. They ended up doing a restock on these. You working out in your Ultra Boosts? Well, you, you be going running and stuff in them? Yeah, yeah, I'll be going around. Because I run in my Nike Reacts, and I, I ain't know like, uh, how Adidas was with it. And honestly, I just went for a run this morning, like how we were talking about before the video started. I smell like straight testicles right now. <laughs> I smell <laughs> terrible <laughs> right now. Both of them. Yeah, I'm actually going to go for a run after this video. That's so, what you said. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing these on feet. <laughs> yes, First cop of 2020. Okay. Now, do you want me to show you, because I got, it's two different ones. So it's the one, the first one that y'all seen on YouTube, and then it's the first one that I actually bought and I never posted the video. Let me see, let me just see both. Let me see the first one that you actually bought and didn't show on video. Okay, so the first one that I bought and I didn't put on video, a lot of people, y'all ain't hit to this. I'm gonna show it to you and I'm, I want you to, I wanna see if you can tell me what it is. Are those Iversons? Iverson. Look on the inside of that. Oh, look up on the inside of that. Y'all see who that is? Y'all see the man in there? Y'all see the man in there? I got these for like $75. Where you get them from? Uh, I think footlocker.com because there was like a little discount thing that you can get. Uh, you gotta look. It's like footlocker.com. I have them for like 150 and the champs have them for like on sale or whatever. You gotta look around. They got all different types of colors and stuff that are on sale, and I suggest everybody get some of those because those are fire. But then the first one that y'all seen on YouTube was right after All Star Season. My favorite player, man. Come on. 
He'll snatch your ankle the first. Kyrie Irvin is the greatest dribbler and the greatest finisher that NBA has ever seen, and I stand by that. Only other finisher I'll let you put above him is Michael Jordan. You mean Westbrook? What? Okay, he's like an explosive finisher. He can dunk on you. That's what I'm saying. Wait, you trying to start a Kyrie collection? I'm telling you, Kyrie is like... I feel like his shoes are slept on a little bit. So, like, this is like... Come on, man. Have you ever seen one of his uh, Kyrie sixes in hand? So much detail on these shoes. Yeah, those are hard. Especially they, the, uh, they look like the a purple like, one. They look like a Marvel collab, like an Iron Man type. Yeah, those ones. Those are uh, inspired from the Bulls. I think the '96 season or something like that. For sure, for sure. So I think my first cop for 2020. Uh, uh, I forget if these came out first. Or these, or these. The f I want to say the fours came out first. Okay, so yeah, because the ones just came out. The fours came out like February. I thought. I for I forget honestly, but yeah, <laughs> these are my first uh, first purchase of 2020. Uh, I ended up getting these for retail, uh, 200 bucks, 190, I think, something like that. Yeah, because you got them up here. Yeah, I got those in Michigan. Speaking of which, I am from Michigan. Did you like intro me? Because I feel like I was an intro. <laughs> I mean, I introduced you and said thanks for coming on. That was about it. Oh, okay. Well, look, man, I'm Dell, man. I'm the most handsome nigga in this whole sneaker YouTube. We, I'm from Jackson, same place as him. Check out my YouTube channel, it's Dell's District. You see it on the hoodie. Yeah, I'm gonna put his link in the description. What is your most expensive shoe? Okay, most expensive shoe. Okay, you see I'm cheating the whole way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like at first it was this, the Pine Green 1.0, because I seen you, you you showed the 2.0s and you didn't even need to. Hey, my desktop. Honestly, honestly, I bought mine like a year and a half ago maybe. I've worn them maybe four or five times. But uh, the most expensive shoe I got right now, I paid 200 for those. But most expensive shoe I have right now, Sakai. Recently just got those. Just just got these. I didn't even do the review on them yet. I paid, I think, 230 240 and they're going down more. I think in your size, really? they're going down even more. I might, I might have to grab a pair of them. Yeah, they're going down even more. The white ones are kind of sticking at 230 but the black ones are going down, so I do suggest everybody go and get a pair of these. I like the white ones better than the black ones, but, you know, it's a great shoe to have in the collection. Hell yeah. My most, my most expensive sneaker is gonna be a Yeezy 350 Statics. Uh, I took the laces out because I was actually gonna throw these in the washer and clean them because they're a little bit deep. Yeah, I ended up getting these. I was in Miami. I went to a, like the local round two. Guess how much I got these for? You paid five? Bro, I paid $500 for these, bro. Uh, L. And look at them. That's exactly. L. I don't even... Ooh, Ooh, he dropped the phone. I actually had a pair of Travis Scott's too. Uh, it was a uh, Air Force Ones. I, I ended up getting those for retail back when they first released, and then I ended up selling those for like 500. Last but not least, least worn sneaker. I got some Reebok Classics, bro. It's not ugly, I don't think it's ugly. Nah, I don't think it's look, ugly. At the, look at the, look at the crease though. Look, look at the creases. The creases are horrible. I ended up going to my first college party in these back in 2016, I think. Least worn sneaker, I got these back in 2016. I went to a college party in these right when I got them, the day after I got them, and ended up just beating them at the party. So technically, this is my least worn sneaker because it's, it's still desktop. I got the Jordan 3 UNC. So yes, sir. I could. I, I could <laughs> lick the bottom. But, <laughs> given current situations, I'm not going to do it, though. Well, um, so, yeah, bro. That's it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming out, Devion. I appreciate it. I'm throwing a game. So I'm game right <laughs> yeah, make sure you guys go follow him. Uh, I'm going to be putting his Instagram and his YouTube link in the description. And uh, yeah, bro, thanks for coming out. Yes, thank you. And we'll probably be on 2K later today. Yeah, let's get it. Real quick, I'll be busting his ass, man. <laughs> Feed him. No, all, all right, John. All right, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like, click that subscribe button below. 